Welcome to Les Schwab Tire Center's Outdoor GPS, presented by Fisherman's Marine and Outdoor. Good morning, everyone. I'm Owen Hayes. You're watching Les Schwab Tire Center's Outdoor GPS, presented to you by the one and only Fisherman's Marine and Outdoor. And I'm back. Yeah, for those that were uh, disappointed or upset that we didn't have live shows this past week, I absolutely thank you for that, because that means that you... Uh, that you like to show the way it is live. I, I appreciate that. But don't overlook, Ryan did a fantastic job uh, with building those shows uh, while I was out. That is not easy uh, to do as a exclusively live television show. So Ryan, excellent job. Um, but we'll get to the story on that whole thing. Y'all knew I was supposed to be heading out of town. We'll get to that story in a little bit. But as always, though, this upcoming segment, uh, I shouldn't even say that, in this segment, we're going to be showing lots of photos, and we've been inundated with them. I know that Ryan right now has so many photos uh, that we're going to be actually adding more than we typically do in, in our opening segment. So if you've been sending those in, pay attention here in a little bit. Uh, we're going to start showing you some of those photos, but we're going to have all the same info like we always do. My report from the last week and a half or so of chasing ducks here in the Northwest right here in the backyard and yes it's been extremely good we got lots of photos to show you so we'll make sure to get that out there also a quick little video uh for some of the folks that thought that the reason why i couldn't make it in this past weekend was because my chevy silverado wouldn't make it <laughs> uh, you couldn't even be further from the truth <laughs> if you knew where i was going probably a thousand miles ish uh, in the last six or eight days uh in these conditions chasing birds around that's no joke We'll have the info for you uh, here in just a little bit. River levels, of course, for all of us that are paying attention uh, to steelhead opportunities. And yes, I'm still solely focused. I got a week and a day of duck season, uh, but solely focused on chasing steelhead. We have a window. There's going to be a small window here uh, before things blow out, right? Uh, so we'll talk about that this upcoming segment, what your thoughts or opportunities uh, might be. Uh, in the next handful of days. It's not going to last long. Also, we'll have uh, the giveaway that we always do for ProCure. We'll check in with Katie and find out what we can expect for weather. Uh, obviously, things have been incredibly, I don't even know the best way, I, lots of ways that we can put it, nutty uh, here in the Northwest. That's the first way to put it. As a waterfowler, we'd call it perfect, uh, but for 99.9% .9 of the population around here, probably hated it. Uh, now things are kind of settling down. We'll find out from Katie how exactly uh, how that's gonna go. Special guest in the studio for the first time actually here uh, at the KPDX studio. Uh, we've got Dominic Aiello from Kershaw. Also a crazed waterfowl hunter. We could literally sit here and just talk about hunting ducks uh, for the entire show. We won't do that to you, I promise. Uh, but we're going to talk about some of the new products from Kershaw. This is our first opportunity to have him here uh, now that they are one of our newest sponsors uh, of Outdoor GPS. So uh, we're looking forward to that. We're going to talk about knives, talk about different things, uh, and probably get a little duck stuff in there. It's my show. I can do that. Uh, so make sure you pay attention. We're going to have that in just a little bit. Also, we got the deal of the week from Fisherman's Marine. Uh, we're going to get that in as well. Also, a flash sale? surprise deal I don't know we'll have that for you too uh, maybe you're unaware of that uh, in just a little bit but I'm being told that we've got um, a phone call coming in Ryan can we take the call before we do the photos let's talk to Brian from Tillamook uh, he's got a report from this morning of chasing steelhead uh, the only live interactive fishing hunting television show ever. Thank you. Just throwing that out there. This is from this morning. Uh, Brian, how things go for you over, I know where you've been fishing, uh, but what area, or not what area, how have things been and how are the conditions over there uh, when you're talking about roads and everything else? Not working? Okay. I can barely hear him, so we'll see if we can kind of clean that up, everyone. But he had just mentioned, at least with what I could hear, uh, that the conditions were treacherous. So we're going to try to clean that up uh, before we bring him back on, because I really want to get that in there now uh, before people might make a trip when they might not want to, uh, or maybe shouldn't, is the way to put it. We'll talk about those kind of situations, too, in a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and show some photos uh, before we start moving along too far. 
Everyone's been sending them in. We're going to show you how to do that. It's super easy uh, to send photos in. It would be that Fox 12 app. I'll kind of give that up a little bit early. Uh, but lots of photos have been coming in. And for all of you that have been doing that, we appreciate it. And uh, as we always do, uh, I'm going to say send some videos in. The photo's not working either. Oh, there we go. There it is. Uh, looks like Brian Spur Sturgeon. This is, uh, I'm going to assume, based on what I'm looking at, up there during that the Hood River fishery. Uh, that was very, very brief. Uh, we talked about, of course, before we left. Uh, Greg, thanks for sending that in. That's a nice sturgeon, too, by the way. Definitely. Now we're going to start seeing lots of steelhead photos coming in. Beautiful little hatchery fish there. And, yeah, you can just tell. Just a coastal fish. Just the shape. Just the dandy. Man, just delicious, too, by the way. Oh. Uh, Easton's first hunt. I love it. Now, see, that's a photo that's going to be on the wall literally forever, uh, everyone. everyone. Uh, Uncle Milo, thanks for sending it in. Uh, looks like a wet and soggy day. What a trooper. The kid didn't care. See how resilient they are when they're out having fun. Here's another great one. Uh, Pat sent this in. Uh, William Nickers Jr. apparently sent this in. Uh, Pat, beautiful, beautiful shot. Uh, nice green wing teal. Looks like a penny. Uh, hand right there looks like a dandy dandy shoot tons of fun. I mean really this is why we do these things everyone uh, That's a trout. I ain't no steelhead central Oregon. Nice It's not a brown trout. No, that's a rainbow hatchery rainbow too. By the way, look at the dorsal fin everyone uh, Just a toad though great photo too and it's easy, everyone. We're going to show you a couple more We'll get to how you can actually do it, uh, but great photos. We love oh. Every single person out there, please Take a pause. That is a beautiful bull elk. The thing is, though, where's the stick and string? I don't see it. Is it a rifle hunt? Not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful bull. Jealous, very, very jealous. Uh, Willamette Valley duck hunt. Yeah, for you that live down in that area, if you're not duck hunting, uh, these conditions, the way things are right now, Find yourself some open water somewhere. I'm just telling you. Linda, thanks for sending it in. Great photo, too. Some folks are like, ah, these tailgate photos. I don't like them. Well, they're hard to get those kind of photos. But here's how you do it, right? It's easy. Uh, the Fox 12 app is the easiest way to download those photos and send them over to us. You can also do it on our Facebook page, uh, which is easy to utilize. If you're not a fan on there, uh, it's easy to do that as well. Find us under pages and hit like or whatever the heck it is. And you can leave those there. Ryan likes to send uh, or utilize those photos from that location as well. And it looks like he's going to all kinds of cool stuff here. I'm going to have you do something there, Ryan, and just kind of explain what you're running through with everyone here. But I'm going to tell you right now, go download that Fox 12 app for so many more reasons than just, of course, after GPS, although that's a really good one. Uh, but if you look over there where he's circling around, yeah, it's, you can upload your photos on our website as well. That's the uh, Fox 12 app. And then, of course, the kptv.com uh, location. So lots of ways to do it. Don't be shy. Uh, we won't embarrass you, maybe. Possibly. All right, we're going to cut to a quick break. When we come back, uh, we're going to try to get this report in from Tillamook. Also, I've got a photo dump we're going to do from the last handful of uh, days, right? It's going to be, what, eight or nine days uh, since the last time I was here. And uh, just give you a quick rundown on my new favorite feature of my Chevy Silverado. It's incredible. And I bet you, like me, a lot of you that own a Chevy Silverado may not even know that you got it. We'll be back with that in just a minute. Don't go anywhere, everyone.